play today. Uh, we're playing the Modern Challenge. We're playing Red Green Food. Um, the only change to the last time we played the deck is I ended up cutting the research desk back, back for the first Fable of the Mirror Raker. I do still think that this main deck, Pithy Needle, gives you a lot, a lot of equity against um, some of your harder matchups, Yawgmoth and Underworld Breach specifically, and I'm pretty happy with the main deck Needle. I think that my logic for playing the one Fable over the one desk makes a lot of sense where you're just not going to tutor the desk that often, and Fable is a better card advantage spell than uh, the desk anyways, but... Very happy with where the list is at the moment. Um, challenge is starting in like 20 seconds. We're going to probably play some cube in between rounds. Um, unlikely to do uh, any Dark Souls stuff today. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. But um, I think that I think the next time I want to play the Dark Souls, I want to have like all the splits and everything ready. And I want to be have done every section hit list at least once. We'll see though. Might in the main. I don't think Might in the main is amazing at the moment I, I think i think i still want them in the side but yeah you, you could play might in the main over the over the fable would be fine if i did better in school i'd know i guess all right uh solid hand gonna keep obviously a hand that needs some help needs to find an asmo finale of devastation feasting troll king but we, uh, we can use the lands in our hand that we get with Rin and Six as discard fodder for the Underworld Cookbook. We're going to be feeling fine here. How's the Heartless deck? Uh, really good, actually. We, we lost playing for a trophy twice in a row. Um, I like the deck a lot. But I wanted, I wanted to play this as, you know, crispest colors and probably a bit more competitive, too. Yeah, I think the goalless version was a nice upgrade to it, and I'm um, feeling good about it. Okay, so my opponent is Gigantha Windswept Heath. Could be a Breach variant. I guess we wait on this cookbook discard. If my opponent has Spell Pierce, I mean, it's not even that bad because I just have second Rin and Six, but. Hmm. Alright, I do think because Rin and Six is my card engine here, I'm gonna wanna play Rin this turn over Asmo. Yeah, I think I think most people didn't really expect the Golos deck to be doing much, but it, it yeah I, I I was a believer in it and um, it was definitely performing well. It's like it's got a, it's got a powerful combo, a lot of overlapping synergy. It's got the scam nature. It's got big mana. It, just, it really just attacks from a lot of different angles, and it's hard to play against, and it can be pretty fast and interactive. So probably Domain Zoo is what I'm guessing at the moment, and Domain Zoo I think is a, a good matchup, especially with the the Asmo in my hand here. Let's go ahead and dump this Verdant Catacombs. Untap. Um, I probably want to play Mutt. Yeah, we'll go ahead and play Saga. Mutt. Discard Catacombs. Cast Asmo. Grab a Cookbook. Pick up Catacombs. Discard Catacombs. Kill Cyan of Draco and pass back. Any updates? Uh, I'm, I'm I cut these the the research desk back for one fable. I, I'm I think this is a list I'm pretty happy with at the moment. Dingus, 17 months. Thank you. My birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Dingus. Bought a charger spike today. Christmas tomorrow. Yeah, nice time of the year, huh? Nice time of the year. I've been playing this a couple weeks. I've been on one goose, four ragavan, one vial. Cut two months. What do you think about the main deck might? Um, I don't I don't think I'm obviously not main decking the might, so I'm not. Uh, I don't think that it's Correct, but I don't think it's bad. I think it's like a close. I'm just like prefer to have them in the board at the moment. Um, I don't love the one Aether Vial because like so like in theory, right? If you're gonna get Vial, I've done this in the past too. But if in theory, if you're gonna if you're gonna Vial, you're do you're getting Vial because you have an Asmo in your hand that you want to unlock. But in that situation, in my experience, you almost always would just rather get a um, you would almost always just rather get a Cookbook instead. Just Cookbook is of course maybe the most valuable <laughs> card in the deck. Um, so I don't, I don't the, 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 the vial's like not terrible, but it, it, that's why I don't like to play it usually. Okay, so I'm gonna discard a Catacombs, play a Cookbook, discard a Cookbook, play a Saga, kill the Scion. Uh, maybe, maybe better to discard the Ren and Six instead, but I, I do value that that card advantage engine if they're able to like Leyland Binding this. Do I have good opinions? Yeah, I, I like the Commission Elementals deck a lot. 
Um, I, I think playing Ragavan over Goose is fine. Also, my thing is like Ra Ragavan is like at its weakest in this deck, where you can you can like the only way you can clear a turn two blocker is with Red and Six. You can't ever clear a turn two blocker with Ra with Asmo. Um, compare that to the Heliod deck, where you can buff Ragavan, have lots of removal for Ragavan, have lot of protection with Giver. Like Ragavan's great in that deck. Ragavan's really good in Murktide with the counter spells. Kind of kind of mid in this variant, in my opinion. All right, um, I think I'm likely just gonna grab a Springleaf Drum so I can make two Saga Tokens this turn. This Ragavan, how many times can you say Ragavan in two minutes? Does not seem like it does anything, so I will just pick up a land. I guess I could, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna discard this land basically no matter what, but maybe I should have um, picked up the Saga. Thank you, Startup. I like Vile as the fifth way guys work as a you, but that's, that's fair. I also like, I love Mutt, but, you know. I, again, we, we've had this conversation a thousand times where there's like there's like like five or six different cards that are super reasonable to play in any number, and Ragavan's definitely one of them, Aether Vile's definitely one of them, and, um, you know, Hammer out the best 75 is tough, uh, and I, I like my 75, of course, but there's not like a super wrong way to build a deck. Did they prove that overpowered heavy cards, overpowered heavy cards are less stable than overpowered one mana free cast cards? I don't, I don't know what you mean by heavy cards, and I don't know what you mean by less stable either. Okay, um, this matchup is really good in my experience. Uh, I'm gonna cut this needle. I, I, I don't mind one haywire might for leyland binding. I don't think you usually need two more more than that. Although the second besage you can be good. Because this also hits Scion. Um, I kind of just want to cut the Fable. Be 21 lands. Uro? Yeah, I'm still, still not exactly sure what you're asking, Ginkola. Okay, I like having Finale for Asmo. We'll keep this. Maybe a little slow on the draw, but I think we keep it. Once on a mode of six, I think you co diamonds. Yeah, I'm, I'm also like st stable is not a word that I have ever seen used to describe a magic card, so I don't know what that means either. Oops, second finale is nice. If I don't try hard enough, would I be a try easy? That's up for for you to determine, I think. All right, three three Kavu. Not a bad draw. My Twitch recap doesn't say how many years I streamed. I tweeted it. I, don't, I can't remember. Um, it, it probably does say, yeah. All right. Um, we maybe need to draw land. Bone stuck on two. Hmm. We didn't draw the land. Um, we could mutt and try to if we if we mutt and find and find a land off mutt, it's really good. I think I, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'll just discard, discard a troll king. If they exile, they don't get to loot, which is kind of nice. Hmm. Okay, so drawing Asmo means if we draw a land next turn, we can Asmo and activate, which is also not too bad. I'm not sure if this was the best line. But like I really didn't want to commit my last Asmo that was in my hand and like just like have it um, get killed before I can kill anything with the Asmo. Awesome silver fang. Yeah, this deck is great. I I think this deck's really really good. Of course. Uh, let's go ahead and take this this hit here. It's just three. Both players stumbling a little bit it seems. If we draw a land, we're in good shape. We did not draw a land. All right, I think I still go cookbook plus Asmo because I have a second Asmo now. Might even um, might even block. 
trade Asbo and Kavu here just to keep my life total high. We'll see, we'll see. I even boarded up a land this game. Tribal Flames, all right. Man, this is this is like one of the worst draws from uh, Domain Zoo I've ever seen, honestly. Um, I do think I might just chump block with the Mutt this turn, though. Because I really start to stabilize the board, and I think I want to keep my life total as high as possible when I feel like pretty ahead on resources, if that makes sense. Well, Spring of Drum is mana. It's not really mana I can use effectively this turn, but I can Finale for Asmo and I think I was supposed to kill this main fee main phase because of Dromoka's command. Not that it, that is like the most impactful thing ever. Next turn I can feasting Troll King, even if my opponent kills my Asmo, which is something. Then I have like Steel Seeker. I've got I've got a lot going on. They finally get their domain online, although they only have three cards in their hand at this point. I don't know if I'm supposed to block the cattle. I mean I'm dead to two tribal flames if I don't, and I'm like really ahead. Okay, well, not given the option. Two cards left in their hand. Brawler, one card left. So we're probably gonna feasting troll king. Let's see what we draw for turn. Ooh, haywire might. So I can go might, drum, drum then might I guess, and then activate, gain two up to twelve, block here. Hmm. You know what, I think let's instead, let's just play two more cookbooks, and then this way, next turn when I get my Asmo back, I'll have three cookbooks active, which is probably going to be better. With Spring Drum? I, yeah, I, I remember the Spring Drum. Obviously, my opponent has, like, Binding plus Tribal Flames are dead. <laughs> Finding plus bolt. That's their two cards. I feel like every time I play against Domain Zoo, like their last two cards are like both super relevant, but maybe that's not gonna be the case here. Gigant in the hand, that bodes well. Alright, that bodes well as well. Okay, cool. Oh, not playing in the streamer tournament? Uh, is there. Oh, the, the Dingo thing. I totally forgot. Um, Sorry, Dingo. Arthur, you can just prime. I wasn't sure I was going to stream today, and I, like, you know, had it committed to it earlier. Oh, the, the only tap land. I'm trying to think if I attack with the Troll King. Probably not. What do you do? I'll give Dingo some Christmas subs as a apology. Sid Spur, eight months ago, thank you. I'm honestly like never really very good to make plans with. Um, oh no, I should I should have attacked. Sorry, I should have attacked and like made their double block situation really bad. It's fine. Um, although now I can attack, and if they double block, we get to clear the board. Um, I'm also really bad to make plans with for like our like Chris or like Friendsgiving up, thing. I told I told one of my friends the wrong date like like literally three times. Just always have my head heads in the cloud, you know. Arthur Twitch Prime stands for the eight months and uh, Pawu with the hundred bits. Thank you all. All right, let's uh, let's get a cube draft fired up. One and zero in the challenge, feeling good. Speaking of so cool, this hand is very sweet. I swear that Beard State Farm commercial is going to make me uninstall Twitch. Okay, thankfully, I only have six more hours on the ad incentive. I'm not redoing for next month because the offer is so, so shitty. 
Um, so we may, may, if we can, if this stream is six hours today, then next week we'll be back to like the old ad structure. Cavern of Souls. Naming beasts. We're up against Amulet Titan. Having an Asmo against Amulet Titan is definitely, definitely important. Do you still believe that legalizing Swords of Plowshares would make Blue-White Control the best modern deck? Uh, I mean, yeah, but I, I also still think they should never, ever, 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 ever legalize Swords of Plowshares. The only people who want Swords of Plowshares legalized are like greedy, 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 greedy Blue-White Control players who just, who just want to have it all. Um, it's also like the, the Blue-White's not the only deck that would play it. Murktide would play it. It would just, it would just be like so annoying, but. Um, they shouldn't legalize it, <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah, hammer. Would, I don't. Know, it, I don't. Know, it's just like it's it's silly to think that's one, for one for one the, the 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 people who are like solitude is better than swords of plowshares literally no it isn't, uh, and and uh, it, they name unicorn with cavern. That's funny. Um, and it, it should never be printed. It, it's way too efficient. Swords of Plowshares is a huge design mistake. Oval Chase Daredevil. Sadly, we're not going to be able to activate Asmo on turn two. This this game is like definitely feels like one where if we were on the play, we would be in much, much better shape. Uh, I will cast the the cookbook. It's not doesn't really matter very much, but I, since I have the free discard... Um, Oddcast, think of the gifted sub. Appreciate you. We arguably have better plow than binding. Plow is also better than binding. I just, it just like, it goes in more decks too. It, it you're just, it's just blue white, blue white control players coping, trying to justify Swords of Plashers being printed, in my opinion. I just, I just don't get it. I just don't understand it. <laughs> or maybe I do get it, huh? <laughs> They, like it, Swords of Plowshares should never be modern legal. I hope it's never modern legal, and that's like as far that's, that's as far as I like want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, it would be it would be super duper ubiquitous. Rakdo, Rakdos would maybe splash for it. It's just like, ugh. it just should never be legal. We just want our staffs to be good again. I know, I know. I, I, I literally, it's always the ulterior motives with these kind of cards, huh? <laughs> yeah, if we were on to play this game, again, much better shape. They get Cultivator Colossus, which is, I guess, I guess even if we were on the play, well, we, we could have killed the Azusa. Modern Horizons 3 will 100% contain Swords of Plowshares. If Modern Horizons 3 has Swords of Plowshares, you can clip this. I will gift 100 subs. I will gift 100 subs to the streamer of your choice. <laughs> okay, I'll gift, I'll gift 100 subs to uh, Doom Mike. Please don't manifest it. It, it, will, it will literally not happen. I, I guarantee it will not happen. There's no chance. All right, let's go to game two. Let's bring in three Besaju, three Haywire Might, th one Alpine Moon. Cut the Shadow Spear, cut the Fable. Cut the... Needle's okay. I think we're going to end up cutting it, though. All right, we can get a Fetch Land. Cut the Needle. Cut fourth Troll King. One what one goose. Positivity, think with a five pack. Appreciate you. Getting me ready for uh, 100 gift subs. Okay, okay, 100 gift subs to Evan and and 100 gift subs to Doom. Nobody else, but if if Swords of Flash Hairs is legal in Modern Horizons 3, I will gift 100 subs to Doomwake and 100 subs to Everos and um, take the rest of the day off.
Yeah, swords, yeah, yeah. The, it, I see this opinion a lot that Solitude is literally Swords of Plowshares with upside. It's not. Swords of Plowshares is better than Solitude. It's just, and you know it is too. <laughs> VIP and a VIP and a VIP, a VIP for Anton for starting this conversation, huh? <laughs> um, okay, this is turn two Asmo plus cookbook on the play. You have to keep this. Add that bet to the blockchain. I mean, yeah, I think I think we'll remember. I'll remember. It's also like Modern Horizons three is not for not until twenty twenty four, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll extend this not even until Modern Horizons three. If it's ever, if it's ever printed into Modern, this is just going to be a standing, standing bet that I will never, ever have to pay out on. There's just no chance. Yeah, better to play the drum this turn and then go finale, cat, and then tap the, tap the asthma to the drum for goose or cookbook. That's confidence. I don't. I don't even understand if if people are even serious about this. If people seriously think wizards would ever print swords into modern. <laughs> there's there there is just no chance. Wizards doesn't break modern with old reprints. They break modern with like new untested cards. You know what I mean? Because that like that's what they're incentivized to print. Yeah, Counterspell was a good reprint. Like, and it was like a very in, honestly in touch, well timed printing. It wasn't. It wasn't not like an out of touch, overpowered reprint. All you know is you seriously give two hundred subs in twenty twenty four. I gifted more than that this year. I think. I think I. I my my Twitch recap had it. Skull Clamp four months. Ago, thank you. Steel Seeker into Cookbook. Okay, it's actually a really good hit. Into Cookbook. Kind of looking to find a Besage. Oh, no way. <laughs> no way we're in 6 plus Besage you too. Um, I guess I can discard the Cabin pretty freely since... I can pick it back up with Ren and Six later if I really want it. Get that cringe value. I think I'll yeah, I'll just I'll just draw step beside you the growth chamber. Yeah, I thought that they have a beside you in their hand. I thought that maybe they would beside you cookbook or something. It's gonna be heavy cards. Yeah, I still don't, I still don't know what heavy cards means. <laughs> what do you do if Skull Clamp gets unbanned? Skull Clamp honestly might not be that crazy. I don't know. I again, I say, I say, I don't know. I've, I've only played the Cabin Cylinder deck, by the way. Uh, I don't know. I I have like really never played with Skull Clamp and constructed. I know that everybody says it's busted. It it, it probably is pretty busted. Um, but I I think that like there's like even like a small chance that. It wouldn't be that crazy. Ooh, double besage you. I was surprised to see Greenstone would be banned. Well, Greenstone is banned because of my opponent's deck. It would be way too good at Amulet Titan. Yeah, I mean, I think Skull. I think so. I, I think Skull Clamp would probably be good. I guess that's probably how I should phrase that. I think it would probably be good, but I'm not. I'm not actually 100 percent sure it would be. It's like 99 percent sure. I guess let's go ahead and unearth Mutt, discard Troll King. Okay, and then that is gonna be better to deal with the... So let's go, yeah, Haywire Might. Oh, trigger, <laughs> trigger, trigger. Wow, but Sage you in the hand? I was, thought I was gonna need to Ren in six, huh? Trigger this. Haywire Might for green, kill the Saga. We can hold the other Besaju that we have in hand without giving my opponent the info, maybe? Or maybe it's just better to go pick up Gingerbread Cabin, play Gingerbread Cabin, 
trigger the Steel Seeker again. Uh, that's probably an okay draw. I guess I have the. I just have Ridden Six Besage. I don't really need it. And I guess I kill the Grazer. Alright. Can't even kill the Grazer. That was gross. Hopefully we can draw half that good this game. Maybe maybe needs to draw about that good to win on the draw. I think on the draw I will play the fourth goose over the third troll king. Oh right, they knew about the besager and have the steel seeker. I mean we channeled it, you know what I mean? But you're right. This end is written six besage you, but no asthma kind of slow, slow no cookbook. I'm gonna mulligan. I think you could keep this hand though. Mm, go to five. No, I wish I had my seven. Could maybe keep that one on the play. But let's think about going to five. That's good. They keep their six though. Uh, okay, let's keep this. Put back a goose, put back an asmo. And hope that the top of our library is kind to us. Okay, Haywire Might is going to line up okay against that Saga, presumably. Although they also they have Saga plus Amulet on their six. That's definitely not a bad draw. Freya, think of the 30 bonds. Hope you're doing well. Might even end up getting another Haywire Might with this. We'll see what happens. Expedition map. I'm gonna kill their Saga, I think. Because, like, I, I, it's better to kill the, um... This is basically an amulet that floats a mana. This is just an amulet that doesn't float a mana. Okay, then I guess I'm casting... Oh, I guess I'm not casting the Cookbook. I'm sacking the Might with this mana. A Oval Chase Daredevil would be pretty good draw. Although now with the Cookbook in my hand as a discard outlet... Yeah, o Oval Chase would be great, and then I can maybe Finale for another Haywire Might. Oh, I didn't update the stream decker, did I? Okay, bog doesn't matter too much. I guess it does let them sack their map. Feasting Troll King, huh? I guess that means I'm supposed to... Discard the Troll King, cast Asmo. Pass back. Merry Christmas, Todd. I was I had a, I played a Pathfinder with my friends last night, and um, <laughs> one of my friends is a high school teacher. He's like, and his student was asking him what his plans were for the night. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna go play Pathfinder with my friend Everett. And his student was like, Everett does does he stream? Magic the Gathering? <laughs> I, I, I didn't know we had, uh, you know, spikelings that were in high school. I thought they were all old as hell. Yeah, I, I was, I, yeah, I was really surprised, honestly. <laughs> um, so we have a few lines. It would be really nice to get back the Feasting Troll King this turn. Get a lot of pressure on my opponent. I can also go play Besage you, Finale X equals one, Sack of Food, Haywire Might the Amulet. What did my opponent get with Expedition Map? They got the Growth Chamber and then they didn't play anything. Yeah, they got Growth Chamber. Curd of the 17. Yeah, I think I think that this um, getting the Troll King in play just to really, really pressure my opponent is I think that this is more important, and I can besage you there. I can just like besage you there. They're bound signed, right? Yeah, because I, I don't have I don't have enough food to. I don't have enough food to. Maybe I should just besage you the amulet. But I don't have I don't sorry again again I don't have enough food to um. To do it all. I could maybe just like get a haywire mite this turn and just like be okay with them having this amulet this one turn. 
I mean, the, the, I think, yeah, I think I'll just kill the amulet. Because the, the problem with Besage being the bounce line, if they just have another bounce line, it's such a... Such a disaster, although... Yeah, I can, like, just discard the finale, and I can set up for an Asma activation, too. Kerberos with 36, and Punkin' on Dead with the 19. Thank you, thank you. We have him on a two-turn clock. Three years, wow. Not really freaking flies, huh? Come a long way from streaming in my living room, huh? Turn the forest, float a green. The grazer. So they're set up to cast a titan next turn. I can kill a titan though. They're still on a two turn clock, even with this grazer. So you can make a food with goose, discard a finale. And then I think if they just cast titan next turn, they're dead. Unless they have the life gain land, which is not too common anymore. Deck deck for Big J. Let me finish this uh, challenge match and then um, we can do deck deck. Yeah, I need to update the sub badges. Um, I, my artist, she had a baby this year and she's like, you know, uh, we have the two years up to it. But I will, uh, oh wait, hold on. <laughs> I had a two year badge. Maybe it's never been uploaded. I, I did all that stuff like, you know, like three years ago now. I'll put it on my, you know, to-do list for this uh, this break. I guess I don't really get a break, but you know what I mean. Yeah, they're very comfy with positivity. Yeah, so if they don't have Radiant Fountain, I think they're just dead. Yeah, same list as the P.O. Box. Um, Just checking. Okay, so they have Colony Garden, although... I should just be able to kill both. So we go make a food, discard. No reason to activate Asmo right now, but we should just be able to kill, kill. It was a tough game. I think we we uh, found the right line though. 2 and 0 in the challenge, obviously off to a nice start. Let's do this deck tech real quick and we can go back to our cube match. Okay, I won the die roll this time. I think we're 2 and 1 in die rolls. Let's keep this and I think we're supposed to lead on Goose, then Finale for Asmo cast Cookbook on turn 2. What do you think is the best Omnath deck? Um, I kind of think Omnath decks are not very good at the moment is my real answer. Um... They're, they're not terrible, but I, I don't know what the best 75 is. Or, <laughs> you guys remember when Yorion was banned and there were so many, what if we just played 95 anyways? So many lazy Yorion players. What if we just play 95 anyways, Spike? <laughs> the la they're so, so lazy. <laughs> just, Spike, I don't want to update the deck list. Can we just play? <laughs> How is Omnath bad? Doesn't have a good game against Murktide? I mean, it is an okay game against Murktide, but Murktide's not the only deck. It also, like, I don't know, it has, has not been putting up great results. I think I'm supposed to play the Spellseeker out. I usually like to wait till I can trigger it, but... I think I don't want to just play the Cookbook. Art with the Seven Months, thank you. And it's like, honestly, like, the, the loss of Yorion makes makes down that deck a lot weaker in the fair matchups. They're, like, a lot more, they're a lot weaker to discard and counter spells than they used to be. A lot weaker to cheap one-for-ones. Terminate the Steelseeker. Okay. Kind of been doing a bad job drawing lands when we need them today. That being said, if we... Don't get Blood Moon, we can get a Springleaf Drum, Finale for Asmo, cast Cookbook. Night's Whisper. Grieve Pitch Malachi Rebirth. So they're, they're probably going to take my Finale and my Cookbook, unfortunately. So, likely casting Pithy Needle. Can name Dothy Voidwalker. Yeah, Whisper is pretty good, I think, in, in this game deck. 
Winning game one in this matchup is really important because they have so many good sideboard cards. Ooh, that is a huge draw. Huge draw. So we get to go... Grab Cookbook, cast Asmo, cast Cookbook. And I think I'll just put a Feasting Troll King into play this turn. Could maybe sometimes be better to kill Grief. This way, this way we get to kill the Grief and then we could just bring back the Troll King. We just bring back the Troll King next turn. And we get to like get that little extra value off the Asmo if they have a removal spell. I guess I guess I think that that's probably probably correct actually. Somewhat close, of course. Do this now obviously for undying effects. No, the only Murktide week was two weeks ago, last week. There was so much Murktide. Great top deck. I think my opponent has Blood Moon. I think they have like both Blood Moon and like something more proactive, and they like know the Blood Moon gets like worse the longer they wait on it, and they also know that they are um, gonna get Troll King and attack for five if they play Blood Moon, and so that's not gonna be a great line either. That's kind of what my guess is here. I haven't played one in a long time. Was it you who was advocating for more levelers in Toronto when I play four? Yeah, I would play four. Um, uh, there's just like, I think like what the biggest thing that Murktide is struggling with is counter spells, like less so than Blood Moons, not Blood Moons on the decline. And so just like jamming four in the main deck, so you can have a turn four play that doesn't get counter spelled, or it gets counter spelled, but then you still get the trigger and you can unearth it. Um, I, I would recommend just jamming four. Is Needle sighted in for E only? No, 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 of course not. So like, so like we're even main decking a Needle because this deck can struggle against like specifically Yawgmoth and Breach. And the main deck Needle really, really like flips that dynamic in a big way. Um, wait, is this Tank 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 Bolt Blood Moon? Sneaky, 14 months, thank you. Oh, it's Bolt, Kolagon's Command, Return Grief, Kill a Cookbook. Good line. So I have to wait to turn on my Troll King. I might like Needle Castle Locked Wayne. I just I just don't think that I would Needle Void Walker. Not much else good to name. Obviously punish with the main deck, you know what it is. Yeah, I know the modal spells stay with their modes. I mean it's not a big deal. It's been like that for a little while actually. Thankfully, their hardcast grief is not very impactful against us here. Both cards just don't really care if they're discarded. And it's grief two mystery cards. I think this deck is viable without Renin Six. Uh, I do think it's viable without Renin Six. I would play like the full four Fable of the Mirror Breakers, and then like probably probably a Mishra's Research Desk over the Rens. Um. Why are we talking about breaking NDAs? Oh, the leaks and stuff, I don't know. I think leaks are a little bit boring to talk about because like, there's just like a never ending cycle of spoilers and just it's just hard to give too much energy to the to the leaks. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll, we'll look at the cards when they, as they come out. It's always my strap. Okay, attack with the mud. They're at eleven. They decide to take two. The worst card in the deck, feasting troll king. They're at nine. I have nine points of power. Resilient to discard. Resilient. Blood me doesn't matter very much right now. Uh, they've already used one of their terminates. They play a lot of terminates these days, though. But maybe the Stroll King will be tough for them to deal with. Is this my current power deck? I think so. I think this is like what I'm registering at most try-hard tournaments, and I guess I'm kind of trying hard today. Discard Fury, discard Blood Moon. They now they now do have seven points of power to put in front of the Troll King. 
One of their two cards was Bloodstained Mire, which would have maybe been an okay name with Needle. I don't know. And they drew Terminate? They drew Land Terminate. That's really, really gross. So now I need to top deck. I failed to top deck anything. So let's, I guess, just leave. I could attack with the Mutt, but I think, I think leaving it back is probably a bit better on this board. Into top deck season, Firemancer. Gross. Unreal. Into Voidwalker. I mean, you just kind of lose these, I guess. <laughs> you just kind of lose these most of the time. Just like us, bad, two bad top decks into them. Three bad top decks into them running. Perfect. Let's just go to game three, or game two. I'm gonna cut the needle, of course. I usually go down on geese. I'm gonna bring in the, ne or sorry, bring, oh, sorry, sorry, I, I, the needle's not good game one, but it is good game two for, um, for uh, engineered explosives. And then, I think I usually play the second Besaju, and sometimes one might, sometimes not one might. But I think the the hearse makes me want to play the might. So let's probably just cut all the geese. Yeah, minus one needle, plus one needle. Yeah, we have a, one needle made one side. I want the second needle against like specifically Yogmoth. Okay, let's keep this. Go ahead and I think just get stomping ground turn one. Needle, engineered explosives. Why isn't endurance good? Endurance is very mediocre against scam, and this is a deck that is you know high synergy, a mid range deck, and you know in, in these kind of high synergy decks, you really don't want your cards to be medium. I do usually like to play Saga pretty aggressively in this matchup. I think Saga Steel Seeker is not a bad line. Endurance hits the scam part. I mean, it's just it not, not against grief if they stack their triggers correctly. And, like, Asmo's, you know, I don't know. It's just... People are too scared of the scam, I think, for the most part. Right, make a token this turn. Get another basic forest. Yeah, like, it, it stops their scam at the cost of two cards. And it's, like, it's card, card advantage for them when that happens. Okay, Magus is definitely less scary than Blood Moon, although they they, they do get my Saga here. It's fine. I have both forests. Can play a Mutt, discard Cabin. I don't think it matters a ton. That's a great draw. Attack for three. Needle of fetch turn one to clunky. I mean, I, I don't, clunky is not the word I would use, but just like two high variants. I, I this needle is in the deck post board, so you can name engineered explosives. That's that is why it's in the deck. So like, just Yolo naming Meyer is not was not the plan going into this. Let's stick to the plan. So we lose our hand. Thankfully they have... Oh, sorry, I thought this was Malak Rebirth, not uh, Fain Death. Hmm. This is Blood Moon. I would, like, just pretty easily get a... Haywire Might, but it's Magus. Let's attack. If my opponent has a bolt for Asmo, then we pretty easily just get another Asmo. Otherwise, I guess I will get a Steel Seeker. Would I cut Fable for another land? Uh, no. I mean, the, the, I, the, I usually don't understand questions like this. Like, Spike, would you make this change that is not currently in your deck list? Like, I registered this deck today with Fable. I wouldn't cut a land for Fable. I would play the Fable. Um, I'm not. I'm not really interested in cutting a land in your in the four of red and six deck either. 
We have four geese also. We need oven for Steel Seeker to be good. I mean, we need to put artifacts into play, and then cookbook is the best way to do that for sure. Freaking hidden Sugu, huh? Okay. Big top deck for us. Let's besage you this before they get to exile my graveyard, which is not a super strong play by any means, of course. When I get another, as when I get another cookbook, well, I mean, you let you there let you legend rule them, so all that does is put a cookbook into play. I think I'd rather have a steel seeker than a cookbook. This deck used to play Ragavan. I've never played Ragavan in this deck. I think I've played Ragavan in other food shells. Oh, gross. Uh, other in the season pyromancer gross i played ragavan in other food shells and ragavan is of all the archetypes you can play ragavan in it is the worst in food where you can like almost never kill a blocker on turn two um you can almost never kill a blocker on turn two need to draw another asthma we drew another asthma that's actually unreal we're still like very far away from doing anything, but this was like the only, this was their only good draw. <laughs> um, but they, they have like two fresh cards. Um, you can just never clear a two turn blocker. So Rag Ragavan is like, is, is actually like pretty mediocre in this in this deck in my opinion. Um, I know mo like most other people will like log into Twitter and see, ah, I'm gonna be very smart and play Ragavan over Goose. And obviously like Ragavan is somewhat playable in the archetype, but I, I think the deck is better off without it. And I, I say this as someone who has played like played plenty of like red, red food decks with Ragavan with Asmo as the only only removal. Ragavan is just kind of mid. Wait, right, uh, good hand. Maybe this main deck needle will get them. Maybe Ren and Six Besiege will get them. Maybe just get the job done with Old Urza Saga. Colony Garden, so likely playing against Glimpse combo here. Which is actually gotta be like one of our worst matchups. They missed you reinforce though. <laughs> Ah, should name Scalding Tarn, huh? They're gonna scam we lose to the challenges. We're turning the sideboard a bit more for it. I mean, the, the matchup is like slightly favorable already. I don't think you want to dedicate like like in the scam also being like a fair strategy that doesn't have any like one clear card that is amazing against it. Like you, you just don't gain that many percentage points by dedicating cyborg cards for scam, and I, I, I don't even know what the card would be. The matchup is slightly favorable at the moment, and it's just okay. My my scam opponent top decked super like un, unreasonably well in game one, and then they drew like their cyborg cards at the right time in game two, and we lost. Yeah, that, that's just magic. Okay, so that looks like they're gonna maybe violent outburst with the fury trigger on the stack. Kill the Renin Six or the Goose, or kill Goose, deal two damage to Ren. Okay, so they hit four permanents. They float a colorless mana, and they're gonna do it again. Just, just four permanents again. And they bricked actually pretty badly. <laughs> Deal. I'm gonna make a saga token. Another cookbook is interesting. I don't think I'm gonna try to kill this plant token just to like deny the the counter though. Um, I think I'm gonna get springleaf drum. Gonna play, get a forest here. I don't think I need another red right now. Play a cookbook, discard a cookbook, cast an Asmo. Get a cookbook, not cast it because it takes the artifact count and go down. They might jump block too. 
They're pro I imagine that they're likely just to spin again this turn, but I'm not, I'm not sure, like, that, like, it's gonna be pretty tough for them to beat this board with just, like, four permanents. Uh, you can't use Arcane Proxy over Dark Dwellers because Proxy has the clause you have to cast the card for it to flash things back, which is lame. That card would be so much better in Modern if it didn't have that text. <laughs> Get Ephemerate it. Okay, Fury Pitch Violent Uppers, but they don't have the land for the Violent Uppers, so they're just killing my Asmo, 2 4 themselves. Deal. I've drawn another finale, which I think is lethal. Guess they could have had a force. Maybe I'm a little short, because I can go I can go make a food. I'll have to cast a cookbook. So cast a cookbook. Discard both of these cards. Yeah, this, this is exact C's. Okay. Well, we got super duper lucky to win game one. Obviously, they bricked pretty badly. This matchup is uh, in incredibly bad. We do like even don't even don't even have sideboard cards, but they brick sometimes. Needle doesn't really do anything. <laughs> Endurance to start with dark dwellers is probably not probably not where you want to be. They usually play Leyline Binding, so like we could play a Haywire Might. Yeah, Endurance for Dark Dweller, I think, is just so too narrow. I could be, I could rather play a Lantern, anyways. Yeah, they're just the Elementals version, so they're not like the all-in on just putting big permanents into play. Which so this this matchup is maybe a bit easier than than that version. Both both versions are likely very tough. Let me mulligan this. Go to five. My opponent's also on a multi five. Um, this is a reasonable five. I think I just put back, put back Asmo, put back Shadow Spear. They have Chancellor of the Forge in their five card hand. Orvor is in the sideboard for Archon of Cruelty decks, mostly just creativity. Suspends a glimpse. Okay, that's interesting. Not sure exactly how good or bad that is for me. Um, yeah, I think what I want to do this turn is. Oh no, it's, maybe, it's probably better to go Saga Steel Seeker, and then next turn I can go Finale Cast Cookbook, and then um, then I get to trigger the saga to tr trigger more. It's just triggers Steel Steel Seeker a bit more often, but. This will be fine. That was Orvar's intended function the entire time? Maybe. I, I think so. Orvar is a really flashy card with a lot of text on it, so it's kind of kind of easy to miss that, I guess. Hmm. So I guess we can lantern next turn. I think I still want to cookbook this turn. I think I'll just discard main phase, trigger the Steel Seeker. Two Troll Kings in the yard, a little bit of value. Suspend ticking down to one here. They might they might um cascade if they have it, but I think this is still fine. Likely gonna kill the token, so they cascade for one less. Although if they want to chump block, I'd be okay with that. Okay, let's discard this to the cookbook. Get another trigger. Daredevil in the yard is nice. Send in with both of these, and then they're going to get to glimpse for presumably six permanents, which is, which is a lot. But if we have Asmo plus um, Saga tokens plus Steel Seeker, we may be able to just like fight. We also have this this to stop them from Dark Dwellering, which is marginal, but.
Marginal is better than marginal. Okay, on the stack, yeah, one less permanent. I think that's better than like trying to kill a mob math or something. Okay, so they did hit Dark Dwellers. They also hit Fury, which is bad. They hit Leyland of the Void, which is bad. But they're down to one land. I guess I could have like just let them spin again. I think I don't want them to spin again. And they're killing Asmo over the Steel Seeker. Maybe they have Violent Outburst. I brought in Haywire Might actually. I could Haywire Might the Leyline. Sacks two clues of the floating mana. Good line. Well played. Four cards in their hand. Yeah, Still Seeker's amazing. Remember, there's a Leyline in place. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna Haywire Might this almost for sure. Don't mind grave rooting this though. So let's trigger these. I so guess I still don't need another Daredevil. They're fetching, so I don't needle their fetch, which is fair. No more Grave because they land. I'm about to haywire my delay line though. And let me respond to the Steel Seeker trigger with the Might activation, so if I can, so I can potentially graveyard something for value. <laughs> Classic Mutt graveyard for value. And then one more trigger, another Mutt, another Saga. And then do I want to trade a Construct for Dark Dwellers or a Fury? I think so, just because like there's a decent chance they're going to Cascade again, so just getting a permanent off the field maybe matters. Yeah, Still Seeker is so cool in the stack. Okay, Tireless Provisioner. Ha very happy that they're not just like Snap Cascading again, although maybe they're setting up for another big Cascade turn. Um, I may be supposed to get Shadow Spear. Another cookbook would be really nice. I think, let me just tap this, get a Shadow Spear though. I can maybe dig for one and like mutt into something here. Okay, there's a cookbook, so let's say no to putting that in the graveyard. Unearth a scrapwork mutt. Stack the triggers like this. Discard Daredevil, draw cookbook. New trigger. Another cookbook on top. Although I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't equip the Shadow Spear and cast that other cookbook, unfortunately. So maybe, I, I think I just have to shuffle so I can actually get... Maybe some value out of these next Steel Seeker triggers. A little bit of value. So we're attacking for nine trample. <laughs> the fourth mutt, right? And plus the mutt. Pretty good turn, pretty good turn. Just whenever, when you beat the Glimpse deck fairly, it's kind of interesting. Troll King this turn, yeah, I guess we should probably also Troll King post combat. Do we sideboard anything? We sideboarded in like a Haywire Might, we just don't, we don't have like anti-Glimpse cards. Like Rhinos and Living In, neither of those matchups are super, super tough, but this is the Cascade deck you're, you're weak to, but it's okay to be weak to Glimpse because it's of course relatively unpopular. Why is my better than Research Desk? I mean, those two cards are super duper different. Like Research Desk is only good as a Saga target, so like I would never play four Research Desk in this deck. So it's odd to like compare those two cards to me. Um, 
I, I would never play for research desk. It's just a fine saga tutor target, but my, my, mine is also really good with Steel Seeker. Like you saw this turn, I was able to dig for cookbook immediately, get the cookbook for less mana than I would be able to with the research desk. Um, um, but it's a discarded out outlet for Asmo. <laughs> It's a discard outlet for Troll King. It's a two, it's a creature that <laughs> which Dusk isn't. Okay, that feels great because that that has got to be like one of if not just our worst matchups in this whole format. So, um, lost Directos, which is like slightly favorable, beat this deck, which is really, really unfavorable. Also beat Amulet Titan, so feeling okay. Bun bun, bun bun. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm in the challenge, baby. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, I'm gonna draw with a close one lander, but I think we mulligan. Keep this very good six though. Really, really good six. Up against a tap shelter thicket. If this is um a Titan deck, that's pretty bad. The Titan the Titan matchups are among our worst. Oh I I guess I guess I should have played Stomping Ground turn one, because if I draw Saga, I, I wanna play Saga and Asmo next turn. Yeah, this, this this is like one of our worst matchups. We have like one Alpine Moon in the board. We did just play a really bad matchup in the Glimpse deck. Yeah, but this is like even worse than Titan because like they're like not weak to like T Titan or they worked in like eight, worse than Amulet Tri Titan for us, worse than Tron because they're not even weak to like Ren and Six Besage you. So kind of a, kind of an unfortunate matchup to to run into. Oh, I, I did miss a book activation. Is it ever possible to nom enough food? Uh, not really. I don't think it's like a big part of your game plan. Right, big draw step, I guess. Definitely not a bad draw. Definitely not a bad draw. I think I'm gonna ping my opponent <laughs> I, and try to race with urza saga our constructs are gonna be gigantic they're gonna be really really big could you not hit the planeswalk with asmo's ability i could it's it's i'm not playing this long game where i ping this ren and six i'm not attacking this ren and six i think i'm just trying to kill them my opponent is Tanking for quite a while. We do have one Alpine Moon. Yeah, yeah, you, you can ping an opposing Planeswalker. Well, my opponent is definitely taking their time, but... That's okay, they can take their time. Finale is a very interesting draw. Okay, I'm like locked in on pinging here. So if my opponent scape shifts next turn, they have seven lands, I'm super dead. If they scape shift, if I go, if I go finale, okay, if I go finale, kill Dryad, right now, and they escape shift. I go to I go to one, but then they ping me with Ren and Six, and I die. Oh no, sorry. I, I sorry. I, that's not true. They hit me for eighteen. I can sack a food, go to twenty, they, and I'm not dead. Um, I'm not likely to win though. I I feel like the best line is is still just this turn to make a gigantic saga token, and then I can make another saga token, and then I can either equip Shadow Spear or Finale for Asmo next turn. I don't think that um I think I think that like just playing around escape shift this turn and being being very dead to it just the following turn is just not the just not the way. Hey Tashi. I mean they're they're not just all mountains. Dwarf of mine just put, it puts a dwarf into play, don't overthink it. I don't think they're playing creativity. Alright, there's actually like no way they can mess this up because the dryad's in play. 
Okay, so I bring in the moon. <laughs> Our one good sideboard card. I'll cut the needle. Probably cut the fable. And then I guess I bring in like two Besaju's, cut a fetch land, and hope for the best. Besaju's not that good in this matchup, though. It has its moments. I think the last time I played this matchup, I did win. I can't really remember how I did. The, I, you know, I, I, we, I got, we got very lucky to beat Glimpse. I think we got unlucky to like run into Glimpse. When I played against Glimpse, I thought I said, I said that that might be the worst matchup in the format. This might actually be the worst matchup. This might actually be worse than Glimpse. <laughs> Besides, you kills Dryad. Yeah, but it ramps them. Like, like you know, giving them the extra land is tough. But it does kill Dryad. Our deck's already pretty good at killing Dryad, though. No way Stormbrain hands hands. Yeah, Stormbrain would be good for this kind of matchup. Like, the, the kind of the tough thing with playing Stormbrain is, like, this deck's okay against Amulet Titan. It's okay against Living End. It's okay against um, Rhinos. It's okay against Creativity, which are, like, the main decks. And you also have Besides, you Brand 6 for Tron. So, like, those are the main decks you would want that kind of effect for in the first place. And then the Stonebrain is good against, like, gives you extra equity against exactly Glimpse and Red Green Valakit, which are super uncommon strategies. I know we've played against them here, but you really just don't see these, these decks very often, you know? What's Fable for? Um, the card the card does what it does, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not really necessarily for any anything in particular. Let me put back the Troll King here. Put back Second Besage You. Yeah, I'll put back Second Besage You. Like, we have one flex spot, and I think Fable, like, I'm, I'm interested in having the first Fable, you know? There's a lot of synergy in the deck. I'm gonna maybe double queuing some cube or something. Third finale. It's a lot of finales. Isn't Besage on Valkyrie in response to trigger good? No, it doesn't work that way. They, the, the, the triggers still go on the stack and they still see all the mountains. If it did work that way, this matchup would, would just actually be really good. If you just besage you the Valakits, they don't trigger, but they, they do still trigger. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you can't really ever besage you them off of mountains either, because they just get another mountain. Maybe every once in a while. Okay, land would be nice. Okay, did draw the land, so that's nice. We can get a Troll King into play next turn, which is reasonable pressure. Mutt into discard. Um, I want to. I want to cast a, a cookbook this turn so I can get Troll King into play next turn. The one of, huh? So let's go attack for three. The pipe block sack. Then go cookbook, discard mutt, discard. Finale, cast out by moon. Get back the Troll King. Get them for like 12 next turn. Red and six, likely gonna be ignored this game. Ooh, into Dryad. Mm. We'll see, maybe I'll tech the Ren. I mean I don't I don't know how much it matters. Let's unearth the mutt. Discard this finale. Would love to find a daredevil. Not quite that lucky. This could be a source of food, though. This can be a source of food. I think I'm just attacking them. 
my attack with the Asmo, and they have a second mine, they get to double block, but then they take 9 damage, and they'll be at 17. They're 17, take 9, down to 8. And then they're dead to the Feasting Troll King hit plus Renin 6 ping, so I guess that's a, this is a fine attack. They probably do have a second mine, but... With, with that rationale, like with them being dead to like uh, them not blocking the Troll King, and then me, it's, it's hard for them to play around the Ren and Six Ping. So they don't Dwarven Mine. Um, I'm not really sure why they blocked the Mutt either, because I feel like that's just like minus one damage for them. But we. They're still dead to Troll King hit plus Ren and Six Ping. Despite them not cracking their fetch. Hopefully their hand is four scape shifts. Back in the day when Field of the Dead was legal, like <laughs> this deck was so annoying to play against when you had Alpine Moons, because if you name Valakit, they just get Field of the Dead, and if you name Field of the Dead, they just get Valakit. That was really obnoxious. Dread doesn't die. Dread doesn't die if it blocks Asmo. It's a 2-4 against a 3-3. Yeah, Noble Chase would make things easy. Easy-ish. They get Fetchland Valakit. Kind of surprised not just two Valakits, but whatever. So, assuming we don't draw an Oval Chase, I think I just go Ren and Six, pick up Foothills, discard two things, kill Prime Time, attack them with both. Um, presumably put them to one, and... Hope we they don't have an answer to the Alpine Moon. <laughs> okay, they're just not dead here. <laughs> but whatever. Maybe they had no out somehow. Okay, we're going to game three. It'd be great to just draw Alpine Moon in both cyborg games. That would be uh, something I wish for. Could needle, but could bring a needle for besage you. Probably no. I have, I have my own besages. All right, let's just run it back. Just draw out by a moon five head. I mean, still seeker can maybe dig for it. This hand, it's. I think I'm just a mole again. Down to five. Okay, I guess we put back. Ren and six troll king. I would love to have both those cards in this hand, but we can just just keep the the engine here. Hope for the best. It's gonna be very hard to win on the draw, but again, this is this is kind of a, just a nightmare matchup, and it's modern. You're gonna have some nightmare matchups. I think I, yeah, just just a finale. Getting the Asmo in play for some pressure is definitely relevant, and hopefully we can draw land, get the Steel Seeker engine going. But I mean, the, the really, really, like I, I don't even think that even matters as much as like my. I just need my opponent to not like have like a fast kill. I need them to like really just flood out. Unfortunately. Yeah, where are the Modern Horizons 2 cards at? There's always oh, Modern Horizons 1. Keep their Soccer Tribe all there unsacrificed for now. If I draw a land, I'll Steel Seeker. If I don't, I'll draw... I'll, oh, I drew a Besage you? I think I'm supposed to Steel Seeker here. It's, it seems to be very close. We can get we can start going like okay 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 oh, oh oh no oh no oh no I almost I almost put that in the yard I almost put that in the yard everybody everybody chill everybody chill we found the Alpine Moon and both cyber games obviously it might not be enough by itself now I have to make sure not to misclick on the on this next Daredevil app.
So I'm gonna, I guess if I attack the Ren and Six, they can double block with Dorvin Mine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a higher upside play here of Steel Seeker and then try to find a red source off these two looks. There's a good chance I don't even need to out by Moon until next turn, anyways, because if they tighten, they're not triggering the Valakits. Or if they trigger it, they trigger it like one time and kill one Steel Seeker. But I, I think I need to take the high upside line and try to be very mana efficient here. And I miss. I miss. Uh, do I want to keep an Asmo? I guess I keep an Asmo. But again, if they tighten if they tighten this next turn, it's not really the end of the world. Oh, I shouldn't have attacked. Sorry, we even just died. I wasn't attacking. <sighs> they get to go Titan. They get one Valakit, one Mountain, kill one Steel Seeker. Then I get to go. Well, I guess I <laughs> I might not get to Alpine Moon and Al Asmo next turn. I have to find I have to find a land. The, yeah, the low side line is just like not cast the Alpine Moon or like cast St Steel Seeker first and then cast Alpine Moon if we hit a land. If not, if not, I don't know. I, I I think just I think you're just supposed to take the upside line there. We're dead only if they have like Dryad Landscape Shift, which is not that likely. Uh, I didn't bring in Haywire Might. Haywire Might doesn't kill Dryad. All right, so this was predicted. I'm drawing. I'm drawing Asmo for turn, and then I'm gonna have three looks at a red source off Steel Seeker between the um, this trigger, and then I get I get two more two more uh, looks off the second cookbook tap. Saga into the hand. So again, I only have one red source. If this was just a green, if this was just a green source, then I could just finale for Asmo too, and then play this. I'm just trying to think if if I can afford to, can I afford to just play Alpine Moon? Kind of, it feels like a losing line. It feels like a losing line to just play Alpine Moon. I'm really not 100% sure, but I get I have two more looks at a red source. Let's believe. Let's believe. Never believe, Dad. Maybe maybe we could have afforded to take the turn off. I thought I thought that it, it really felt like not a very good line. It's one one card too deep. One card too deep, unfortunate. I'm not sure. That could have been wrong. But I think either way, that's it for today's stream. I think we're dead for topic contention and uh, my brain is honestly like a little fuzzy anyway, so it's maybe for the best. Uh, why concede? We we are super dead there. We're we're super we're super dead there. Do we know they have escape shift in hand? Are we not? Ha <laughs> ha